Hi, this is Restroom Studio One Expert, and I've been asked to make a video that explains editing in 3.2 of Studio One. So Studio One 3.2 has some new changes. And I want to talk about audio editing because that's one area that in the past, some people have felt that it doesn't have the same power as other doors on the market for doing audio editing. So I want to tell you about the changes and how you can move around much quicker. So the big change for audio editing that we've been asking for for some time is now they have this new option here on the arrow tool they're just calling it the smarter arrow tool. The truth is that if you uh, listen to other people talking about this, and as I've talked to other producers that have had a sneak peek of this, this is, as far as most people are concerned, the same as the smart tool in Pro Tools. Although PreSonus are calling it the smarter tool. Let me explain why. If you have your audio small like that and you come over on it, then you'll get your, your normal ability to grab things here. But as you make it bigger, then the tool starts to reflect where you are. So at the bottom, you get the arrow, and at the top, uh, you get the selector tool. That doesn't require any touching of any modifier key. It just works without you having to do anything. So if I want to grab something, for example, uh, if I want to go in and take some of this, let's just make this slightly smaller so we see what we're doing, uh, grab, uh, let's just have a listen to what we've got here. Say I want to repeat this phrase here, I can now just come in with this tool, grab it there, into from bar three to bar four, like that, then just pick it up and move it, like that. No modifiers used. Let me undo that, because of course what you could also do is you press the Alt key, then you can actually just copy it. The other thing you can do with the Smart tool now is if you grab it like I've just shown, let's say we just wanted to grab this snare drum here for a second, there, then I could double click on it and it separates the region as well which then means I could do things like draw the crossfade in. So now on a single tool, without any modifiers, we can come in and we can uh, select areas, we can break them apart by clicking there. We can still double click and open up the editor at the bottom there, as you can see. Uh, we can then use the arrow to move stuff as well. We've also on the same tool got the, the ability to draw the audio envelopes and obviously change the gain as well. So that's all done with the one tool now, the kind of smart arrow. Now the cool thing is as well, is they've still left the option for us to have a second tool as an alternative tool on the command. So what you could do instead, you could choose the listen tool now, and now with the modifier key, I could be going through and editing, and every time I hit the modifier key, I can go in and just audition stuff and think, I don't like that snare, so I could come in here and very quickly, I could just use my tool and I could double click on it and edit it or I could double click on it and delete it. But I could delete it without even double clicking on it. So now you can really fly around with the new uh, smarter arrow tool. Now the other thing as well when you're editing is moving around. As you see, I'm zooming in a bit like here. Now there's a really nice new option, which is I think from the logic world, which press the Alt and the Shift key, you now get this uh, magnifying glass. And we could go in close, we could do our quick edit, like that, we could say, okay, I want to take that snare drum and break it apart. And if we press the Alt and Shift key again, we can come out to where we were. And it will just keep moving out as you keep clicking it to different regions. So if I were to just go in there and just say, okay, I want to edit that part there, I can come in, do my edits, whatever I want to do. So I could grab it with the selector tool like that. Uh, I could grab that there. I could pick it up now and move it. It's just so much simpler to get round uh, in Studio One. The next thing I want to talk about when editing is, of course, tab to transient, which is a, an essential part of uh, doing any audio editing. So let's say I want to go through these snares here. Of course, the original way we did tab to transient is we just come in and we just tab it. There we go, tab, 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 tab. But now what we have is a few other options as well. So we can tab to that transient. If we press the shift tab, we can just keep tabbing through the transients, of course, make selections with that. If we press command shift tab, we can come backwards. So we have tab forward and tab backwards. And we can then, of course, make a selection. We could just grab that now, just move it. So much faster. Audio editing improvements have really come on leaps and bounds for this latest version of Studio One 3.2. So in summary, we can now zoom in uh, with our tool here and zoom back out just by pressing Alt and Shift with the, and we get this lovely magnifying glass option. We can then have the smart tool now or the arrow tool that's smarter and that now allows us just to come in. As I say, normally you just get the arrow. The minute you turn this on, 
we then have the selector tool which you can either work uh, with it to to the grid if you press the shift key of course it takes it off grid we can now move stuff very simply and of course if we double click at the top we get it separating. If we double click at the bottom, we get it opening in the editor. So there we are. That is editing in Studio One 3.2. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.